Hey Richard, this is Mike Fortner. I'm just going over your uh, uh, your interesting discussion of uh, superconductivity and in particular applications on application on maglev trains and other applications as well. I got a couple of little illustrations there that I liked. Uh, the, the question I've got, which was this was not your primary application, I don't think, but I'm going to ask it anyway because this is one that I think is important. Uh, MRI devices, which are used for examination of, uh, we, we, you all know, everybody's probably had one by now, uh, uh, but they're used uh, to, to examine them by certain, certain features um, of our internal organs to look for different diseases. And uh, it, does, it does that by creating uh, false, color, false color images uh, based on the, difference, mag the different magnetic environments that the uh, local uh, molecules are are are, uh, are sensing here's my question for you and i don't really know the answer to this but what is the what is the application or why is it advantageous for the magnets that are used in these things to uh, to be superconducting i know one of the features you can get you can get a lot more a lot stronger magnetic field and i guess i'm wondering if you can do a little research just a little bit and find out why the magnetic field strength is important to the uh, to the image. Um, you've done some good work here. I, th I think you've probably either you just like the railgun application or had some maybe some time uh, playing with it. But the the railgun application is very interesting um, as well. And so is a maglev train. I mean, there's a lot of things you can do with, with magnetism, particularly uh, in the uh, or in the realm of using superconductors. So if you can find that out, let me know. Have a good evening.